What is up, guys? I am your official Rise of Civilization host, Shinchi42, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Belly Cyrus. We are going to be tackling four things here. We're going to tackle the attributes, the skills, and the talents, and also what type of commander pairing that we should be using Belly Cyrus. Belly Cyrus, he is a defensive maniac. And we're going to be talking about why he is that way and how we're going to be building him. And also, we're going to give you guys some strategies if you stay at the end of this video. So there is a little bit of a reward when you stay until the end. Now, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do subscribe and turn the notification on because we are creating regular content for Rise of Civilizations. <laughs> First, Belisarius is a cavalry commander. As you can see, this commander excels at leading cavalry. And you will see that later on with the skills and also the talent. He is also a peacekeeping, which allows him to excel by defeating barbarians and other neutral units. So the other neutral units, this could be the Sanctum Gardens and like Karabakh Challenges when you participate on that one. Those are going to be your neutral units. Now, mobility... Another attribute that he has, this commander's troops have high march speed and great flexibility on the battlefield. So we're going to be tackling that later once we look in depth into the talents for Belisarius. The first skill that he has here is called Deception. This is what makes him a defensive maniac. As you guys can see, there is an attack reduction here up to 30% and defense reduction up to 30%. Well, when you attack the enemy, their defense is going to reduce by 30% once this um, active skill is activated. And then the damage that you receive from this enemy is going to be reduced by 30% also. Now, there is a direct damage factor. It's going to be combining and complementing that defense reduction. He is a defensive maniac. I like it. It's turning defense into offense here. This is very good skill for Belisarius. So the second skill that Belisarius has is called Irresistible. He is an irresistible man. Whoo! Anyway, it's going to be increasing the damage to barbarians and other neutral units up to 35%. So if you are new to the game, these neutral units are going to be like the Sanctum Guardians. So you'll see them like guarding these little temple. And also when you do a, a Karabakh challenge, these are going to be con considered as neutral units. So anything that is not bar barbarians, they're going to be a neutral unit. Now, if you're trying to uh, decide on, hey, should I really focus on Belisarius? Because I have another commander that can, you know, participate in the barbarian, you know, peacekeeping. Basically, I'm looking at Budika. So, of course, Lohar is going to be the guy that's going to be in the peacekeeping. But Budika here, she has a barbarian uh, uh, increasing damage and for the uh, neutral units as well. It says here it's going to increase it by 25%. It's slightly lower then, you know, with Belisarius, it's going to be 35%. Now, the thing that you need to consider is that you would be gaining extra 20% when you use Budika for experience points. So that's the catch there. Budika has a experience points compared to Belisarius. So you guys would just have to decide, but using Belisarius with that 35% increase of damage to barbarians is going to be helpful because you can... Uh, and other neutral units as well because you're going you can maximize this skill towards barbarian force when you are doing some rallies the third skill here is called Buselari. i hope i am saying that correctly and pronunciating it correctly if i am not leave down leave a comment in the se comment section below leave a comment yeah leave a comment in the comment section below <laughs> goodness guys i am stuttering right now um anyway I don't be like Shinchi. Shinchi likes to butcher names. Just don't be like him because you guys have called me out so many times in this in this YouTube. I feel sorry for you guys. You guys are probably freaking out with like, God, Shinchi, say it correctly. But anyway, don't be like me when I butcher names. Correct me if I am wrong. Leave it down in the comments. Guys, this skill is the one that complements the cavalry and mobility. As you can see, cavalry defense bonus increases up to 15 freaking percent 15 percent 15 percent this is 15 percent because i said so many times 15 percent and i did that again but you know as you can see a lot of the buffs you don't see up to 15 percent the max you would see about is 10 percent let's look at pelagius really so pelagius is one of the cavalry commander as you can see there is it only goes up to 10 percent so they kind of give him a little bit you know 
with that 15%. And then the marching speed bonus, it goes to up to 25%. But here's the freaking catch, right? The catch here is that it has to be leaving the battle. After, so it says here, increase marching speed by 10% for 10 seconds after leaving the battle. So this is different compared to Tao Tao or Minamoto because with them, it's already applied that you have this passive skill already applied this marching speed compared to this um, Buselari skill. So I remember passive skill with this passive skill is already um, activated. When you get into the battle, this cavalry defense bonus is already there. It's activated. So you don't, it doesn't get triggered anymore. Fourth skill here is called the Oblique Tactics. Now, this is very easy to understand. When Belisarius' army reaches about 50% strength, so halfway, it would trigger this damage bonus. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty much verbatim here. Very easy to understand. Now, the damage bonus is going to go up to 25% when you max it out to level 5. So it goes down to 50%. The damage gets triggered. It deals that 25% damage when your strength is down to 50%. Very easy to understand. I don't really need to explain that further. The expertise skill here is called the Bloody Buselari. So it's going to enhance the Buselari skill that we talked about earlier. It's going to increase it from 30%, uh, sorry, for, from 15% to 30%, and then the marching speed from 25% to 50%. This is a good buff, especially for the defense cavalry units up to 30%. You don't really see this a lot in the epic rarity level. Now, if you are really trying to focus in more of a tanky cavalry uh, unit, cavalry, you know, full cavalry units, or just at least mixed troops with a lot of cavalry in there, this is maybe the best uh, commander for you with if you're looking into cavalry. Now, I do want to point out that Pelagius also is a very good commander with, you know, uh, without the moving speed for cavalry. So if you're looking into like more of a tanking situation for uh, for the game, this may be a, another option for you is Pelagius. He has a good healing um, capability here also. But our target here is to talk about Belisarius. So here's, an, here's another option for you guys if you're looking into that, you know, more of a tanky commander in the game. Now, this is the talent pad. Now, as you guys can see, this is Tao Tao right now, but they have the same attributes. As you can see peacekeeping, cavalry, mobility, pretty much the same. So this is the talent pad that I'm going to suggest to you guys. This is talent pad one. But then we're going to talk about some alternatives that you can do. And I'm going to tell you guys, I am going to be starting into Patreon. And I'm going to be posting some of these in, in Patreon. And if you want a little bit more in depth, we're going to be doing it on Patreon. So you guys should check it out. I'm going to show it right now. So guys, this is my Patreon page, Shinchi42. It's creating rights of civilizations. I'm going to start putting text information here so that you guys can be more informed in the game. And I also have the beginner's guide here. If you guys can see, here it is. It came from the forum that I created. And I'm going to post the Talent 2.0 guide that I created that is from the forum. I'm going to move it here. And I'm going to start using this as my way to um, extend the communication knowledge to you guys. So do check it out. And I have the spreadsheet here as well that I created for the pairing of the talents. Now I, now I explained it here, what it is. So just a little bit of description there. And also I'm going to be, I can be, I, I will be posting the pictures for the talents here as well so that you guys can have them by your hands and just ready to go. You can just switch and, uh, you know, uh, build onto that talent 2.0 that you guys need for your guidance. So guys do, yeah, do check it out. Um, if you guys want to become a patron, that would be really good for the community, for the Shinchi 42 community. And, you know, it's going to really help me as a content creator to provide more content for you guys. So here's another talent guide. This is the full cavalry guide. And as you guys could see, it is going to be really focusing on the moving speed of the cavalry. Now, it's up to your option if you want to use this. It's a strategy game, so I'm just giving you as much options as you guys can have for this commander with Belisarius. Now, as you guys can see, I wrote down here 41 talent points total. I think it's about 42 talent points, really. So you can just reduce uh, some of the talent points here, maybe on the swiftness or write the one on the, where I said two talent points. You can just input that as one talent point so that you can actually maximize the um, talents that you can use. So if you want to build them into a peacekeeping, feel free to do so. I'm not going to create a guide for the peacekeeping for him because I probably wouldn't use him as a peacekeeper or at least the primary commander for attacking the barbarians or other uh, barbarian forts or whatever. Because I prefer, maybe I would rather use Burika as a 
primary commander she also has this remember she has that you know commander experience obtained you know with that 20 percent. that's more beneficial for me maximizing my time and effort so if you really want to build belisarius as a peacekeeper please go ahead and do so because this is a strategy game you have your own strategy and i respect that and there's nothing wrong with that but i do recommend that you really add this trophy hunter to maximize your peacekeeping talents because you're going to receive some resource packs and let me tell you guys i haven't opened all my resource packs but if you go to items as you can see i have about thirteen thousand level one resource packs this is all grinding when you're farming barbarians you know defeating um, barbarian forts or anything so if you want to read through that let's go to the talent it says here after defeating barbarians or other neutral units you're going to gain this level one resource pack c so maximize this trophy hunter that is a crucial thing that i just want to point out if you are building into the peacekeeping talents so i do want to suggest that you guys should input this inside talent as you guys can see it's going to reduce the action point that you're just going to be consuming when you are attacking barbarians or any other neutral units so when you max it out to level three it's going to be decreasing by 10 and let me show you guys that that it actually is going to decrease by 10 so if you look at my lohar this is my talent for him and you can see that the insight at the max level three is going to be decreasing the action point by 10 points so maximize that because that's going to be very 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 beneficial for you because you know the amount of action point that you're going to be using is really crucial for this you know the less action point that you can use the better you have the better chance you can maximize your commander so some of the commander pairing that we can use is for Belisarius is Ilji Mundiok. As you guys can see here, he has this defense reduction up to 30%. Now, when this skill is activated at the same time that this skill is also activated, they're going to be decreasing the defense of the enemy up to 60% at the max level. Now, there will be only 40% defense left for the enemy, and that's massive of the damage that you can inflict with the defense of only 40%. So the second one that I think is going to work well is Scipio Africanus. As you can see here in the skill that he has is that damage taken reduced by 25%. So the damage that he's going to receive is less 25%. So there's 75% left. Now if I look at Belisarius' skill here, he has this attack reduction of 30%. So pretty much the same, just different, a little bit of a different wording. And so when he receives a damage here, when this skill is activated, there's going to be 70% left. So if you add those up, you can do the math and how much of an effective, how much can that be effective for your playing style. So you guys have to really look into some of the um, skills of the other commanders to kind of like pair them up. Now, if you're, uh, if you don't have those epic commanders and you want, to, you know, as a free to play player, you can also use, <clears throat> sorry, you can also use Lancelot and Lancelot is going to work well. He's got, you know, really good skills in here. But it's not going to be the best option compared to an epic commander. But if you don't have a choice, use Lancelot. Okay, so he also has some cavalry a bonus here. So if you have a lot of the cavalry already, you're going to have the attack bonus here and the defense bonus as well. So that's something that you guys should really consider. Also, when you go to the um, legendary commanders of pairing, you can you know look into Minamoto or Cao Cao. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that by bars may be a maybe okay, uh, maybe okay pairing, but I don't really think it's going to be the best. I do think UG or Scipio may be the best. Um, also having the Scipio Africanus, you can have more troops as well in that battlefield. So maximize those kind of things. Um, do let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Maybe you guys have a different approach. Maybe you guys have a different um, commander pairing that you guys would like to use. And maybe that I haven't discovered yet. So leave it down in the comment section below because I want to know and I could learn learn from you guys as well. So guys, I promise that I will give you guys some strategies. And if I kept my word, please give this a video a thumbs up. Now the strategy is max it this first skill up first before unlocking the other skills. So once you reach level 10, it allows you to upgrade the star. So each star up to four star is going to let you unlock each skills. Now if you're not building into the peacekeeping talent, if you're not going to use him as a peacekeeper for farming bars and everything, you know, just, you know, unlock it, unlock it through three stars right away and unlock these two, two, two skills. 
The reason why is because you're not going to focus on this irresistible if you are not going to be using him as a barbarian, like a barbarian farming commander. Then you can benefit on the actual troops uh, bonus here with the cavalry defense bonus. Okay, so the second one is that I want to tell you guys, if you are using him as a secondary commander, which I probably will use him as a secondary commander rather than a primary commander, you don't need to level him up, level him up, up to 60. What you need to do is to just get as much of the skills leveled up and get this expertise unlocked or this expertise unlocked and then you stop. That's it. It's done. You don't need to waste your tome of knowledges. You don't need to waste experience points to level this guy up. Just get that expertise skill. So those are the two things that I really want to suggest to you guys as a strategy for this commander. And that can be applicable to any other commanders that you guys have also. So guys, thank you for bearing with me and listening to my voice. But if you guys find this video very helpful and you guys enjoy this video, please leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know what you guys think because i am dying to know what you are thinking right now and give this video a thumbs up if you guys do like it and um i'll see you again in the next videos okay guys mm -hmm.